The Hurricanes return to conference play for the first time in almost a month. They get Clemson. This is your preview. Lauren Shahadi, along with Dennis Dodd, our college football columnist, talking about the matchup. He joins us now. Dennis, Miami has to be happy with the return of senior safety Randy Phillips. How much of a difference maker is he on defense? Well, I think he's huge. I think he's a. Uh, I think he's an All America quality defensive back back there in the grand tradition of Miami. Um, he really anchors that whole defense together, which has really come through. They now have athletes. Uh, they now have speed. I think he's one of the best players they have back there. You know, with Clemson, Dennis, one week they destroy Wake, one week they get destroyed. What's the identity of this team? Well, pretty much the same as it was under Tommy Bowden. I mean, you said it. They, they get destroyed one week. They destroy the other week. Inconsistent, 3-3 three and three overall, 2-2. Two and two. They lose this game. They're probably of the ACC race. You never know in the ACC, but... Um, they haven't shown much, you know, real improvement under, under Dabo Swinney. When you talk about identity, Miami kind of struggles with that, their identity as a ranked team. Will this continue moving forward, do you think? No, I, I think they got a chance, if they take care of business now, to go 11-1 and one and at least be a second team from the ACC to play in a BCS Bowl, if not win the conference outright. They're, currently, they're in fourth place. They just haven't played very many conference games. Virginia Leeds, for example, they're only 2-0. Uh, but they've got a chance to, uh, to win this league or, and or play in a BCS Bowl. They're that good. Well, we saw Ja'Cory Harris getting sacked more than they would like uh, against the Knights. And when you talk about Clemson, they're an 11th-ranked defense. How does this matchup continue? Well, I think they'll do more, more of the same. I think they, they worked on that this week, shoring up the offensive line. The Central Florida game is a bit personal because you have a lot of players on that team who know players in Miami, you know, they, they know their, their habits, their tendencies. I think you're going to see that thing short up this year, maybe go to a bit more running game to, to establish an identity against, the, against that de number 11 ranked defense. When you talk about the Clemson program, Dennis, how has it changed, if at all, from, Sweeney, uh, from Bowden to Sweeney? Well, I, I thought in the beginning they, they'd be more, uh, more uh, offensively uh, outgoing or, or more wide open. It hasn't happened. They're, they're more of the same. Kyle Parker has been okay as a quarterback. C.J. Spiller, again, their best player. He was supposed to be their best player as an all-purpose runner. The thing about all-purpose runners is you can't use them on every down. They're returning kicks. You know, they're running. Sometimes they're receiving. Um, you know, they've got to get more production out of that offense. They just haven't shown it this year. Clemson at number eight, Miami, 3.30 Saturday. Thanks for watching the preview. Brought to you by Tyson Anytizers, the meaty good man snack. We'll talk to you real soon.